purpose of this screencast is to, show, is to show you how to add events, which are called assignments, in Skyward's standards gradebook. This is for educators uh, in grades K through 2, not in grades 3 through 12. You guys have a secondary gradebook. We're looking at K through 2 today, and they have a standards gradebook. It's going to look a little different from the secondary gradebook. So if you're K through 2, you are in the right spot. You need to first have logged in to your Skyward Gradebook account using your uh, Skyward Gradebook login ID and password. And once you're here, this is the home screen. You're going to go up to Teacher Access, and you're going to click on My Gradebook. What will appear is a list of classes. I'm going to choose Math and come over here and click on Standards Gradebook. And what's going to appear here in a second is going to look a little different uh, from what you saw on the overview uh, screencast. If you see here, I've actually added events in, so you can see what it's going to look like with events. So remember, these boxes right here with the little, oops, with the little slash marks are actually the standards. Remember, if you hover over them, you'll see what they are. These right here that are completely white, these are the uh, uh, assignments, the events, the tasks, whatever you want to call them. So what you do basically when you enter an event is you actually enter events underneath, ah, that keeps popping up, I'm sorry. You enter events underneath each standard. So these two tasks or these two assignments are associated with this standard. These two assignments are associated with this standard. The, this assignment with this one, this assignment with that one. Now you can, if you click this negative sign here, it says hide events for this skill. And again, it's going to write itself in a second. You see now you no longer see those two white columns, but you see these two and those. So you can hide them, or you can choose to reveal them by clicking the plus. And there they are back again. So that's really what this is going to look like. So you're going to see each assignment underneath the skill is going to appear to the right. So you can have two, three, five, whatever you need to for each skill in that particular term. You have to make sure you're in the right term, though. Again, the same skills are repeated for each term, so you're going to enter in new events for each skill in each term. Okay. So let's go back to these. I want to show you how to add an assignment. And again, in the K2 gradebook, it's not called an assignment, it's called an event. So you're going to come over here to events, and you're going to click on add event. So I'm going to leave the subject as math. Okay, and there's the skill. I'm going to put math assignment. I'm going to spell it correctly though. Maybe. At assignment three, because I already have two in there. Now you can put in a detailed description if you want, but this is optional. Okay, so put in something if you want. So the assigned date obviously is the date you assigned it, but this proposed versus actual. Let me explain the difference here. Proposed due date, you can just be like, look, this is the due date. I'm not having this actual due date. You just go, this is the date I assigned it. This is the date it's due. Or you could have, this is the day I assigned it, the assigned date. This is the date it's due, but if you want to give any extensions or retakes, then you could say, okay, retakes and extensions are due by this date, and that's what the actual due date is. You don't have to have an actual due date, but you can if you want to. So I'm going to sign something on the first day of school, because, you know, I'm a jerk like that. And then I'm going to make it due on Monday, because everyone likes homework over the weekend, right? Okay. And then you got grade mark group. You're going to put a three and two and one. That's how you're going to score these. I'm going to have a separate screencast on how to score these assignments. Now the points are how many points this particular assignment is out of. So I'm going to put 20. But I'm going to scroll down. You see I put 20 and watch when I click boop, all these turn to 20. Okay, so basically it's telling you how many points this particular assignment is going to be worth underneath each skill. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the first one, I'm also going to put it in the second one, and this one. So you can, you see how you can pick and choose which skill that assignment goes under. So let's say you have an assignment that covers multiple skills, this is the way to enter in um, the assignment into the gradebook. Okay. So you can pick which classes, but really this is a math assignment, it really doesn't go anywhere else. Now if you come over here, you've got some options. You can save and go back to the gradebook screen. You can save and add another assignment if you'd like. You can save and start scoring right, right away. You can undo whatever you did over here. You can go back without saving. 
Here, this is kind of neat. You can actually attach files. Maybe if you have a copy of the assignment um, on PDF, then maybe you can attach that. You see where it says choose file. Okay. I'm not quite sure at this point what file extensions are accepted, but I'm assuming Word, Excel, basic files like that are accepted, but you never know. Check with uh, Ken on that one. And then you've got some options. Again, these are more advanced options that we'll look at, look at later. So I'm going to click Save and go back because I want you to see what happens on the actual gradebook when I start adding in events. So you see how it says three events saved? Because really that's what happened. I put three events in three different standards. Remember I did one, two, and I skipped one. And then I went to this third one. Let's see if it's math assignment one, math assignment three. Puts them in reverse time order. Two, Here's math assignment three, math assignment three. So you see I added that underneath each skill. So that's how your grade book is going to look. Okay? So you're going to have events under skills. Now you really know these are assignments, but these are assignments that are showing mastery or having students practice proficiency towards mastering that particular skill. Okay? So that is how you add events or assignments into your standards gradebook. In our next screencast, we're going to take a look at actually scoring these assignments.